Hello, I'm just going to say, I'm going to get to know what to do here every day. Just upgrade to our website. It's not what we're talking about. It's not what we're talking about. It's not what we're talking about. We're talking more about this later. It was first. Let's get you started on your time. Well, you haven't heard of everything you've been in the next Well, I think that the title of the book is Not an Air Emerald. Here's an Associated Press report. The world's tallest building opens Monday. It's more than 2,625 feet, but exactly how high it reaches into the sky remains a mystery. The Burj Dubai will open with fireworks Monday night and under tight security. You have to give them credit for an engineering feat, and, it, and it's also very symbolic. You know, it's the, it's the tallest building in the world. The developers have remained tight-lipped about the Burj Dubai's final height. It's at least 984 feet taller than its nearest competitor, the 1,671-foot Taipei 101. By comparison, the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere, Chicago's Willis Tower, stands 1,450 feet. The $20 billion construction project began in 2004, long before the United Arab Emirates received a $25 billion bailout from its neighbor Abu Dhabi. Burj Dubai is obviously the ultimate symbol of you know, the, the, the real estate boom that they've seen. Um, and I don't see this economic down cycle being over in the next uh, few quarters or even in the next year or so. So I think uh, the, the economic problems or challenges will persist in the face of uh, a, a pretty um, awesome, I would say, a, a structure, man-made structure. Uh, but those two ironies, in my opinion, will, will coexist for a while. The Burj Dubai has 160 stories and an observation deck on the 120-foot floor both are records. It's also the centerpiece of a 500-acre development that officials hope will become a new central residential and commercial district. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press. Early Monday, gunfire broke out at a federal building in Las Vegas. It appears that he was acting uh, alone at this point, but, but uh, obviously more investigations. Shortly so after 8 a.m. Monday, a man opened fire in the building's lobby. Two people were killed, including the gunman. The gunman killed a deputy guard and wounded a U.S. Marshal. Cold weather is gripping the U.S., but a restaurant in Indianapolis was blazing hot after a fire. The firefighters fought the sub-zero temperatures on, and nearby fire hydrants was frozen. It took firefighters 15 minutes to find an unfrozen fire hydrant to put out the blaze. Speaking of cold temperatures, here, here in the Midlands, we're seeing bittery cold temperatures and a possibility of some snow. Here's a Global Watch HD forecast. A high of 46 with partly cloudy skies and a bone chilling 19 degrees. On Thursday, we look at a high of 50 degrees, much warmer than what it is today, and a low of 24. Now, on Thursday night, we're watching the system because it could possibly make a possible possibility of some mixture of ice and snow by Thursday night into Friday morning. And on Friday, we're looking at a high of 39, a low of 20, again, with a possibility of, of light and snow. Thanks for watching this edition. Um, this is our website at, like I said earlier, www.jtwnews.web.com. Also, shoot us an email at wtwnews at gmail.com. And also, if you have anything negative to say, don't say it at all. Thank you. New Generation Network, a network of truth and friendship. Visit us at wjtwnews.webs.com. It's all here on your laptop and in the palm of your hand.